kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notifications of our videos once we put them up. Welcome. We are looking into our CR studies, Christian religious studies, and uh, our lesson, uh, the topic of studies about God's plan for salvation, for man's salvation. Uh, because in the last lesson we saw uh, a biblical teaching on sin and its consequences and we saw that things went wrong and um, man uh, rebelled against this creator and um, uh, God came in very quickly and he pronounced the judgment on man and then there were other consequences that we were able to see that in this uh, case uh, man started to die uh, confusion entered into the world disagreement between people uh, spoiled relationship between man and god hard labor you see sicknesses and pain all this they came into the earth and so we want to see then uh, what is the plan of god uh, for this uh, uh, bad situation that is here and so we look at um, uh, after sin uh, after the relationship was spoiled god was very quick uh, to come and uh, repair the, the the situation because uh, the nature of god is good god is good that is what we saw as one of the qualities of god in the uh, creation stories that god is good and God is loving and because of his goodness because of his mercies God came very quickly and uh, we are seeing he's the one who took the step to look for the uh, lost man for the fallen man Adam did not uh, take uh, any step no effort did he make uh, to repair the relationship that was uh, broken when he realized he was naked he did not want to report it to uh, God and tell him that um, things have gone wrong he started working on his own struggling even to the wrong direction then uh, when God came he started pointing fingers on the woman even doing more wrong yes calling the wife names this woman that you you gave me in fact that is uh, trying to implicate that God was wrong he gave Adam a wrong uh, partner. You see, this woman that you gave me, so it is God who is wrong, who gave him a woman. You see, he's blaming God. He's pointing fingers on the woman, pointing fingers on God. But uh, God was loving and very good. And he came in and he called to Adam. Then what did he do? He shed the blood of the animal and he clothed Adam uh, with the skin from that animal. That was love. In fact, uh, if you listen to the preachers, they will tell you the blood that was shed, the animal died in the place of man because the, the, the fruits of that sin was death. So Adam was supposed to die, but uh, the animal was uh, killed uh, in his place. So blood was shed from the animal. And then now God came in and they pronounced judgment on man and you saw uh, in that process, he indicated in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 that um, the seed of the woman will crush the head of the serpent. That is now the salvation of man. That is where we get the strength. The seed of this woman who was lured into sin, who was lied to. So her seed now, which we come to see later in the book of uh, in the New Testament as Jesus Christ, who was born by a woman, uh, crushed the work of the devil on the cross. So that is now the, our salvation now. That is the root of our salvation in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 that the, the, the head of the serpent, all the plans, all the schemes of the devil will be crushed by the seed of this woman who is a son 
that was born by the woman so um, and uh, this seed would now re repair this relationship and uh, uh, bring uh, the good relationship between man and God back to the way it was way back in the Garden of Eden then from there we look at the traditional African concept of evil the Bible has shown us where evil came from and the Bible has shown us triumph over evil through the seed of the woman who is Jesus Christ now we, let us talk about the African view the Africans also believe that evil is an offense against God and that all the pain that is here the African man believed that it was brought about by sin of man man going against his own maker and so uh, all the communities they have myths that show that um, sin was committed by man evil was brought about by man and all this pain death suffering all this misunderstanding that we have is as a result of sin against God. So we want to look at some of the causes of evil in the African concept, in the African understanding. One of the sources of evil is the evil spirits. Spirits are immortal creatures. They do not have the physical body, but they are believed by the Africans that they can cause pain. They, they, they are in the spirit form. We don't see them with our naked eyes. But they can cause pain on the earth. Evil spirits. Spirits which are out to cause pain for people. Bring death. You see, one of the causes of evil in Africa is the evil spirits. Then we also have malicious ancestral spirits. Number two. Spirits of our forefathers. There were those people who were bad even when they were here on earth. An ancestor is a person who died a long time ago. If that person was bad, a man who was always fighting, always quarreling, you know, always uh, differing with people, even when they died, they could cause problems. So some of the problems that we have today, uh, the Africans believe that they are caused by the evil spirits. Then we talk about another cause, the third cause is uh, evil people. Even those people whom we live with, there are people who have uh, hatred, haters are there. You try to do something good, they feel bad. They do not want to say that there is anything good that can come from Jerusalem. Somebody who is bad like that can cause pain on another one because his heart is full of evil bad people are there Africans believed that they can cause pain uh, we can also have the Africans believed that uh, the fourth reason the fourth cause is breaking of taboos we have taboos like when you, when you have most African communities they believe that uh, it's wrong to walk naked before people it is wrong to shave your hair those are taboos so when they are broken they can cause evil then we also have um, bad omen is also another cause of evil. Bad omen. You see, like uh, some communities believed that when an all hoots, an all, you know an all, it is a bad. If it hoots near a homestead, somebody will die. That is a bad omen. Like when people are going to a long journey and they meet a lizard on the road, yes, they will say this is a this is safari sinzuri. This journey is not good. Okay. If the men are going to fight and they meet with a black cat crossing them their way, that they are going to be killed. It is a bad omen. Hmm? So bad omen is also one of the causes of evil in Africa. You can name some of the bad omens. Ask them. Now that you are at home and you are uh, doing colon time. Ask your grandparents some of the omens, bad omens that we, they had. Then we also have uh, another evil, another cause of evil is um, uh, lust from people. Lust, just lust. 
they also believed that uh, people desired things which were beyond their uh, ability. Even they would not be able to use them well. So when somebody desires to be rich and is not rich, then you could enter into evil. You could start uh, uh, stealing or, or killing others, you see. That is another cause of evil. So you have seen the causes of evil. They include uh, evil spirits, uh, creatures which are in spirit form and they can cause pain here and death. Uh, spirits of ancestors who are evil, they can cause pain. Uh, bad people who are evil in today's community. Uh, we have a breaking of taboos, bad omen, and last, those are some of the causes of evil. Then we can also talk about um, uh, what are these effects of evil in the African culture? The effects of evil is that they can, uh, evil can cause death, others kill others, so it causes uh, malicious, murderous spirits, just the same way it caused in the Bible. Another effect is that it can cause hard labor, it can cause misfortunes, sin and evil are bad even in the African concept and they should be discouraged. Sin should be discouraged at all costs. Now we also have um, this evil, a man, the African man works very hard to bring harmony. So every time you see people carrying out sacrifices to God, carrying out sacrifices to their ancestral spirits, to appease them, to make them happy, because we have seen that ancestral spirits can bring pain. Honestly, if they can cause pain, then the African man could carry out a sacrifice to make them happy. Uh, the spirits of those who died, they could pour uh, food on their graves to make them happy, not to cause pain to us. It is because man, the African man feared pain, he feared death. We have uh, seen um, God's plan, it's good. Uh, he promised that through the woman, uh, her seed would come to crush the head of the serpent, which we have seen in the New Testament uh, as being accomplished by Jesus Christ. And we have also looked at uh, um, African understanding of evil. It was purely caused by man and uh, evil spirits, uh, evil ancestral spirits, bad people, breaking of uh, uh, taboos and uh, bad omens. And then the African man is always working very hard to bring harmony to the earth, to bring social harmony where people are interacting freely, though it is not uh, very easy. Thank you for being with us. We're very grateful that you found time to watch our content. Kindly press the subscribe button down there and leave a like if the content was helpful to you. Join us in the next lessons. Thank you.